Are you wondering how to study in medical school? For lack of a better analogy, studying in medical school is like preparing for a marathon. You're trying to master concepts not for one test, but for the foreseeable future. It's intimidating, overwhelming, and exhausting. Here we share with you nine best study tools and tips for medical students. These simple tips and tricks will allow you to make the most of your limited free time available to study in medical school. These steps, when implemented, are meant to boost the effectiveness of your study sessions. Using this mind-blowing advice from a team of health experts and research, you'll not only be able to score better in your block exams and also ace the licensing exams, both USMLE and or Comlex. Try these tips and set yourself up for success in medical residency. Follow the FOG Behavioral Model. The FOG Behavioral Model, FBM, offers insights into successful behavioral change. According to the FBM, successful behavioral change occurs when there exists a combination of motivation, ability, and behavioral triggers. The FBM can help you improve your study habits in medical school. According to the model, you can adapt new behaviors, such as new study habits, if you have motivation. Strong motivation can come from the desire to succeed or the fear of failure. Stay focused on why you are doing this. This could range from a scholarship to helping others when you finally become a doctor. You can use your why as a wallpaper on your phone to provide you with a constant reminder. Ability. In this context, it's the ability to access all the things you need to study, such as the necessary materials and a quiet study environment. You may need to alter your routine to be able to study. For instance, Wake up an hour before your children, roommates, to do the pre-class readings. A behavioral trigger. This could be a loud calendar notification alarm to remind you that it's study time. Consider interleaved practice to study complex topics. Interleaved practice is the most effective for learning complex, interconnected material. In interleaved practice, you combine the study of multiple topics and alternate the order in which you study each topic. Interleaving works because you're not just memorizing material one piece at a time. You're building connections between the material. For instance, studying the renin and geotensin aldosterone pathway and then alternating it with the neural control of blood pressure. You'll also establish connections between the entire group of concepts. Interleaved practice forces you to work harder as well, which means your brain will build more resilient neural networks to retain this information. Interleaving is an important way to study throughout medical school to remind yourself of topics seen earlier within the curriculum. This will prove to be beneficial when the US MLE Step 1 test approaches, as it will make studying easier. Use flashcards to help with spaced repetition. Spaced repetition simply means repeatedly reviewing materials over a period of time. For example, when reviewing dendritic cell functions, you may study the topic once every 10 days over the course of the semester. Spaced repetition should be a long-term study practice. This works because forgetting happens more rapidly the longer you go without reviewing. Reviewing materials at intervals over a period of weeks or months decreases both the amount of information you forget and the speed at which you forget it after each review session. Flashcards can help you with spaced repetition. If you're taking a neuroanatomy course, for example, you can use flashcards to help you memorize where different brain regions are located. This is useful to help you study midline structures or nerve pathways. You can quickly create and share flashcards to help with medical school memorization here on Quizlet and ace your exams. Organization is key. Being organized is key to success in medical school. You'll need to make time for coursework, labs, clinical rotations, research, and more. Start your best organizational habits in your first year of medical school, or better yet, before. Successful students organize their weekly work, such as notes and required reading, while keeping finals in mind. Using office supplies, such as folders, binders, and labels, make the task simpler. Additionally, several note-taking apps are available for managing notes. The next thing to organize is the schedule. It's vital to put important dates into your calendar right away to carefully note any conflicts and determine priorities.
Consider syncing your university Canvas, Blackboard calendar, and your personal Google Calendar or similar applications you use to keep track of obligations and help you balance it all. Lastly, setting priorities is never easy. One may have to sacrifice some responsibilities to make time for others. There may not be enough time to do everything you want to do in a day, but planning the time you do have wisely is critically important. The testing effect. Be the first person to test yourself. The testing effect refers to the benefits of asking and responding to questions about the material rather than simply memorizing it. Active learning, such as quizzing yourself on the study material, works better than passive learning, such as reading and memorizing a text. For example, after reading and memorizing the side effects of steroids, you can ask yourself questions to understand the bodily effects of steroids and how these relate to certain side effects. Having a study partner helps in this situation. How to utilize the testing effect. Active learning helps to connect new information to known information and builds a more profound understanding of concepts, especially in relation to other knowledge than memorization. Similar to the interleaved practice, active learning makes your brain work harder to learn, building stronger neural networks to help you better remember information. Know your studying style. Do you know the style of learning that best suits you? Take an online quiz to identify your learning style. This questionnaire helps individuals to develop awareness about their study preferences. Now that you know your learning style, the second step is to examine study behaviors. For example, if you're a visual learner, are you using visual tools for retention and recall? These tools can range from simple Google Sheets to detailed Quizlet flashcards. Some students benefit from using more than one modality. Multimodal learning is learning that stimulates various sensory inputs, visual, auditory, and kinesthetic. Multimodal learning works because it engages many different sensory brain networks. Its benefits include greater cognitive stimulation, attention, comprehension, and retention. For example, to study the anatomy of blood vessels, an interactive diagram is quite useful. Visual and kinesthetic learners can learn about various parts by clicking on it. Then listening to recorded lectures, auditory, can further enhance learning. In summary, knowing your learning style and aligning it with effective study habits tools can make learning more effective and more enjoyable. Use question banks. One of the strategies that many medical students learn the material that they are studying is to grapple with the material. One simple way to grapple with the material is to use a question bank, which will force you to think through the concepts in a different manner and attempt to connect different topics into a question stem. There are many different question banks on the market, all with pros and cons. Consider buying a question bank for during your first two years of medical school as a companion to your medical school curriculum. However, save a question bank for your dedicated USMLE Step 1 study time as you'll want to be doing questions every day at this time. Conclusion While at med school, learning can be taxing, exacting, but that can be changed. Several small steps taken regularly and persistently will lead you to success. Recall that a journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. So start including some of these steps discussed today. At Quizlet, we're committed to help you with resources for studying. Many of our Quizlet community members have dedicated flashcard sets to assist you in learning the vast quantities of knowledge required to complete your medical school education. Visit our blog periodically for more study resources. We're rooting for your success.